Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this problem. So finding the future value and the present value. So we have this given semi-annual payments of 8,000 pesos at the end of its term for 12 years with interest rate of 12% compounded quarterly. So since the payment interval is not equal to the compounding period, so therefore this problem is a general annuity. So to solve for the future value and the present value of this problem, so first we need to list all the given. So we have this the periodic payment that's 8,000 pesos and for M sub 1 that's the payment interval. Since payment interval is semi-annually, so therefore, M sub 1 is equal to 2. Then for the rate, so we have this 12% and 12% in decimal, that's 0 0.12. Then for this M sub 2, that's the compounding period. Since compounded quarterly, so therefore, M sub 2 is equal to 4. And for the time, that's 12 years. So since this problem is a general annuity, so we need to convert this 12% compounded quarterly to interest rate compounded semi-annually. So using this formula, then substitute now all the values. So we have J equals 1 plus the rate. So the rate is 0 0.2. 12 over m sub 2 and m sub 2 is 4 then to the power m sub 2 over m sub 1 so m sub 2 is 4 then over m sub 1 that's 2 then minus 1 then to solve for j so we have 1 plus so this point 12 divided by 4 so uh, 0 0.12 then divide by 4 equals that 0 0.03. So we have plus 0 0.03 then to the power 4 divide by 2. This one is 2 then minus 1. So to solve now for J. So since this 1 plus 0 0.03 is equal to 1.03. So to solve now for J, so we have this 1.03, then to the power, so to the power 2, equals, then minus 1, equals, so J is equal to 0 0.0609. So J is equal to 0 0.0609. Then to solve now for the future value, so using this formula, so again, J is equal to 0 0.06.09 and for N, so N that's M sub 1 times the time, so M sub 1 is 2 and the time is 12, so 2 times 12, so N is equal to 24. So to solve now for the future value, so we have this the periodic payment that's 8,000 10 times so we have 1 plus J so J is 0 0.0609 then to the power N so N is 24 then minus 1 then over J so J is 0 0.0609 so to solve now for the future value, so using your calculator. So this is how to solve for the future value from this equation using your calculator. So since we can combine these two numbers, so we have 1.0609 then to the power 24 equals then minus 1 equals then divide by uh, 0 0.0609 equals 
then times, so times this 8,000, so times 8,000 equals, so the future value is 411,461.66 pesos. So the future value is 411,461.66 pesos. So, 461.66 pesos. So, this is now the future value. And for the present values, so using this formula, so substitute now all the values. So, if we have this, the periodic payment, that's 8,000 then times 1 minus 1 plus j, so j is 0 0.0609, then to the power negative n, and n is 24, so the power negative 24, then over j, that's 0 0.0609. So to solve now for the present value, so this is how to solve for the present value using your calculator from this equation. So we have 1, then minus, since we can combine these two numbers, so 1.0609, then to the power negative 24, so to the power negative 24, then equals, then divide by 0 0.0609, so divide by 0 0.0609, then equals, then times this 8,000, so times 8,000 equals, so the present value is 99,573.23. So we have 99,000. 573.23 pesos. So this is now the present value.